Om Shanti and welcome back. We are doing the recording of 28th of October's God is Blessing. And now zeal and enthusiasm. This is something which is very precious in today's world. People are looking for it and they're finding ways to get it. Some of, you, some of the people are finding it in money. Some of the people are finding it in their looks, in the clothes, in the wealth that they are amassing. Some people are trying to find it in drugs, in chocolates in food and in so many other things but how can we be in zeal and enthusiasm forever at every instant is a challenge for humanity now and that's what we're going to discuss in today's blessing and that's where supreme father takes us and he wants us to go beyond the five elemental zeal and enthusiasm or try to find less of it in these five elements and slowly slowly move away from it it's not about not having them in your life. It's about having them in your life and still not being attached to them for any zeal and enthusiasm in your life. So let's see what does God have to say. Paul says, May you be constantly full of zeal and enthusiasm and celebrate every moment of the Confluence Age as a festival. Now this Confluence Age is the age which is the transition age. Just like we also transition into adulthood from teenage and from adulthood into old age. There's a transition of this present world also. It transitions from the old world to the new world. Whereas people are thinking about this present world as a new world on the basis of technology. But what about depression? What about suicidal cases? What about tensions? What about stress? What about mental issues which people are facing now? What about anxiety? Technology is not able to overcome all of that. So how do you do it? There's a different technology for that. And that's what we learn at Brahma Kumaris with the divine meditation process. So God says any festival is celebrated to bring zeal and enthusiasm. We just passed a festival, Dipavali and Dashira. The lives of you Brahmin children are lives full of enthusiasm. Just as there is life in this body, think of our body. When there is breath in the same way, the breath of Brahmin life is zeal and enthusiasm. Regarding what? Having found someone whom the whole world is looking up for or looking up to or is just praising and praying to. What about you have already found out that supreme creator, the supreme light, the infinite being, the source of everything, the then, the now and the future. All three aspects, if you have found the creation himself or herself, how about that? Knowing through your heart, feeling him or her, the supreme creator, the supreme soul whom you have been calling as God. Now people generally fight over it's a he or a she. It doesn't matter because it's a soul, it's an energy, energy is neutral. So it's, you can call him a he or a she, it doesn't matter. Connecting to the he or the she, the energy I'm talking about. The supreme God is an energy. You too are his creation and energy. Your thoughts are energy. If you are connected to him, in that connection, every single moment, there is zeal and enthusiasm. Just to know and to feel his love, to feel his peace, to feel his power and purity that you cannot achieve no matter how much you earn, no matter how much you amass. No, much, no matter how many people love you, his love and all the rest of the world, all the souls on the other side, if you have a tug of war, you'll certainly go towards him alone. And that's what we experience in Brahma Kumaris. So that's what God says, the zeal and enthusiasm has to be experienced. It's not something which we do in a sport. The zeal and enthusiasm in it dies out after the sports is done. It's not about cricket match. It's not about a FIFA World Cup. It dies off after a couple of days when the World Cup is fin finished. This is a constant zeal and enthusiasm every single moment, every single day. So then God says, This is why every moment of the Confluence Age is a festival. However, the speed of your breathing has to be constant and normal. That's what we do. That's what we practice in yoga, right? But this is Raja Yoga. So what is that constant and normal? If your breathing becomes very fast, and when does it become very fast? 
either you are stressed or you get got angry on somebody your breathing is fast when you are thinking fast your breathing is fast in general yoga practice in general meditation we focus on the breathing and not on the thoughts whereas the root cause of everything even your breathing patterns is your thoughts so if you focus on the level of your thoughts whether they are pure on a higher level or a lower level decides the way you are going to breathe anxiety depression depression might lead you to low shallow breathing and anxiety might lead you to very fast rhythmic fast rhythmic breathing anything of these either sides is reducing your age it's creating some kind of abnormality in your body no need to worry about it but meditation can heal it so we are talking about a uh, constant breathing so god then says has to be constant and normal if you uh, if your breathing if your breathing becomes very fast or very slow you would not be said to have a normal life so check whether the speed of zeal and enthusiasm of your brahman life is normal that is constant that means your mood your state of mind your thinking patterns your your different behaviors how are they leading you in your life what kind of circumstances are they taking you to what kind of relationships are you leading yourself into because of your thinking patterns belief patterns and that's what we discuss on every saturday we're going to discuss about these thinking patterns these belief patterns you're most welcome to join us from 5 pm to 6 pm on every saturday for more information do send me a message ask me for the zoom meeting link i'll send it to you personally and with this om shanti